In this video, we'll start with a plain SketchUp model with SketchUp materials and show how to set up for rendering high definition stills and movies uh, in just a few minutes. Um, so we have our model and we'll just open up the preferences for light up and um, these are all the standard uh, settings for, for light up. Um, you'll notice by default we've got incremental lighting on um, and sun and um, using ambient occlusion. So because we have uh, these scenes which are set to different times of the day where the sun's going to be in different positions, I'm going to set real-time sun uh, so that we can move the sun around during our rendering. So we just click on that. Okay, so this uh, sunlight is a little bright, so we'll just bring that down a sec, uh, a little bit. Um, I've also set this constant color um, that we can uh, it's just a handy thing to be able to tint your model, but I've set that right down to black um, so that we are just the fill in is being done with the ambient occlusion. Currently, we've got um, it at exterior and I've got a, a multiplier 0.8. It's still a little bit dark, so I'm going to just click on custom and I've set that to three meters. And what that means is that um, the cutoff distance for ambient occlusion. Uh, is, is three meters, so we're just getting a little more um, light into these dark areas. Okay, so that's just in a few seconds we can we can set up something. You'll notice light up has added a, a physical sky uh, uh, as a backdrop. Okay, um, so the next thing to do is to look at this. Uh, swimming pool. So if we just click back here um, and use this tool, select it. Now if you add the, the word water shader to the name of the material then uh, LightUp will replace that material with a procedural water uh, effect. So I've changed that to uh, water shader. Um, the other thing you'll notice um, is that if I start here, um, so we've got uh, this is quite quite bright. So we'll we'll just um, drop down the diffuse color down to something quite low. And so now you can see this nice um, procedural water uh, effect um, that's reflecting the sunlight. Um, the edges of the model um, are also drawn. So you can see I've got the fixed, I've got a color um, of sort of a gray color, but I can set this to um, this outlining to any color I like, whatever effect I want. I think actually I'll, I'll sit down to something quite. That's quite dark. Um, so you can in real time change the style color. Um, you can also in preferences here in stroke, I can change the thickness of that line to get the effect you want, or you can turn it off altogether. Um, so we've now got our, our uh, water shader. Um, and also, we probably want to uh, add a backdrop. We've just got this um, physical sky, but we can um, okay. So we've added a backdrop um, of some trees to add some more um, detail. I can, I can, uh, I can just scroll this around. Uh, to get whatever position I want. Um, the other thing is this glass here is just these fixed uh, SketchUp material. Um, so if I double click on that, um, 
I can set that using one of the presets. So I'll just choose the glass preset. Um, and so we've got some reflections here. Um, I'm going to just um, bump up the specular and just this cut off to um, and perhaps just drop this down a little bit. I can tint the glass here. Uh, it looks like there's another material glass, which is, so we've got two materials. I'll, again, I'll set that to the preset of glass. Um, just cut this off and um, Okay, so now we have um, the glass set up. Um, in fact, that could be just a little bit less. Um, okay. Um, so the other thing we want to do is to uh, perhaps add some uh, uh, entourage around here. So if I just stop here and um, Drag in some trees. So let's just position these trees. Um, You see that these are quite complex trees, um, quite a lot of geometry. So if you have a lot of geometry, one thing you can do is to uh, right-click on them and choose Replace with Proxy. Um, and all it does is it replaces the uh, object with uh, just a simple box, which makes it much smoother to interact with complex models. Um, and these will be replaced, this, these little boxes will be replaced with the real geometry when we when we render. Um, so again we'll start uh, tool tool. Okay, so we've got these trees in the background. Um, now we might want to change the time of day. Uh, Get some nice, uh, nice shadow effects. Um, okay, um, and also we've got these um, simple stairs. So let's just double click on that, and we can just set that again. We'll probably just use a preset um, to set them so that they are um, nice and shiny. And so that's pretty much uh, us ready then to start taking shots. And we can we can now um, use the scenes to animate our, our scene and get different uh, effects. Um, so actually, what we'll want to do is to now we've got everything set up. We can uh, turn off uh, the incremental rendering and do a full bake, um, and then we can uh, generate all our, our movies and uh, how cold it starts. Okay, so we've done a full bake uh, rather than an incremental bake. And now we can, uh, we've lit the entire model from all angles so that we can move around. Uh, so if I move around here, uh, we just we can just edit this material, just perhaps, again, we'll use a preset, let's just, just have a little, um, so we can just have no stuff there. We've just got a very, very, very subtle uh, reflection there. Um, and we can start taking, uh, generating high quality images um, by just, Again, using the real-time post-processing, so we can change exposure, temperature, um, maybe vignetting, 
and then we can or in this section and we can just generate uh, instant stills or movies um, just in a few seconds. <laughs> 